The zombie apocalypse survival continues. Food supplies are running out. We will not last long. We'll have to leave our house. The girls climb into the attic, where they kept the large emergency survival kit and prepare to leave their dwelling. So, let's see what we have here. A saw, sleeves with nails, a rope, oh, and a glove with claws. At least this is something. After putting all the most necessary items in their backpacks, they hurry to the exit. But be careful, zombies are somewhere nearby. Making your way through the ruins of the city, the most important thing is to not run into the walking dead. They have just flooded the half-destroyed city. Girls need to go through the building, but the risk is too big. There's a whole crowd of them here. Let's look for workarounds. Maybe use the navigator. Oh, yes, funny joke. The phone died three days ago. They will have to check the map. It seems the path is found. Everything is clean here. Let's go. This narrow path leads them straight to the building. And now we'll tell you how to make a sword belt, which you must have noticed on one of our brave little girls. First, you need a wide belt with a ring and a spring hook at the ends. Attach the belt around the waist. Take a piece of belt tape. Place it diagonally on your body. Hem the tape manually. Do the same with the second tape. You should get such braces. Sew another tape, creating loops on it. Cling a metal spring hook. Put a piece of tape tightly around your leg. Insert the tape in a half ring hanging from the belt, an ideal place for weapons. The shoulder strap will accommodate a large amount of necessary equipment, and this accessory looks very stylish. You look just like Laura Croft. Finally, the girls got to an abandoned building. But you need to act very carefully. For example, do not step on empty cans. A loud sound, like a bell, attracts all the zombies in the neighborhood. Hide quickly! Girls make their way to the far rooms of the building, to which the zombies have not yet reached. It is necessary to change the shoes. It's good that they took care of this in advance and took noiseless insoles. Go over the sole of your shoes on the cardboard and cut them out. Take soft washcloths. Attach them to the cardboard using a hot glue gun. Cut off the excess. Make a slipper for the second leg. Then take a wide elastic band. Glue the edges of the band to the sole with the hot glue gun. Fasten a soft insole made from Fomoran. In such soft foam slippers, you can not only run away from the zombies, but also slip past a hedgehog unnoticed. But the silent walk strategy collapses when the girls realize that they have stumbled upon a room with too many zombies. Oh my god! And where are they coming from? They just cannot cope with such a number. And why are you all gathered here? Did you smell some fresh brains? They need to look for workarounds and at the same time, think about weapons. Check what they got. A hammer? Not bad. And I have gloves of the Wolverine model. Such claws can destroy more than one zombie. Take a small piece of glass. Lubricate it with cream. Draw such an oval with the hot glue gun. Take sharp metal spokes. Use the hot glue gun to attach them to the base from the hot glue. Use the hot glue gun again to fasten the spokes to the gloves. Done! But your arms can be protected with sleeves with nails. Take wooden blocks and long nails. Mark the location of the nails, placing them in a checkerwise pattern. Hammer them completely. Attach a wide black elastic band with the hot glue. Put it on your arm. That's all. The forearm area is under reliable protection. Armed and very dangerous. It seems that one of the zombies has broken from his pack. Well, now we can handle it. They pounce on the dead man and cope with him right away. Look, it seems that all its entrails fell out. The girls decide to disguise themselves so they can hide in a crowd of zombies. The stench of the zombies' intestines will mask the human smell and they will be able to pass unnoticed through a room teeming with the walking dead. Unfortunately, the girls did not find another way out of the building. Ugh, these zombies are so nasty, both on the inside and on the outside. To confuse them, you will need a rubber glove and cotton wool. Fill the glove with cotton wool. Insert a wire as a holder. Give the glove the color of the zombie skin using acrylic paints. 
Draw spots of decay using the eyeshadow. Fasten a sleeve from an old shirt. Smear the sleeve with red paint. Use red slimes as the entrails of the zombie. Stretch the slime so it looks like guts. And now the friends carefully make their way between the wandering dead. Guys, we're all zombies here, and there is no need to look at me like that. Oh, I finally can see the exit. Having fun chatting with each other, the girls head to the forest. Perhaps they should have turned back because the zombies are following them. Suddenly, a girl jumps out from behind a tree, and this survivor is very unfriendly. It turns out that at first, she took the friends for zombies. Well, once they figured it out, they decided to go together. It's less scary when there are three of you. After a long hike through the forest, the girls arrange a halt. I am so thirsty. Oops, it seems no one has any water left. Tired, they search for the nearest spring on the map and head there. Although, perhaps this is for the best. After all, the zombies chasing them do not stop for a minute. They do not manage to go far. Suddenly, the zombies jump out of the forest thicket and start attacking them. Oh my god! Run for your lives! To mislead the zombies, the friends light smoke bombs. They definitely haven't seen such a smoke show before. Like blind kittens, they wander inside the smoke and don't understand where their victims are hiding. The girls share their impressions and check the damage. Oh no! It seems that the newbie is wounded, although it may not be a zombie bite at all, and it will pass. The friends treat the wound and put a bandage on the arm to avoid infection. The water is near. Hold on! Well, finally, the long-awaited spring. Wait! You cannot drink water from an unverified source. First, it must be filtered. Cut the bottom from a plastic bottle. Insert the filter in the neck. Collect water in the inverted bottle. The filter lets the water out literally drop by drop. So instead of the palm, it is better to immediately put the bottle there. To make such a filter, you need a disposable syringe. Take out the plastic piston. Take some pills of activated carbon. Cut off the tip from the syringe and cut off the excess parts so that only the cylinder remains. Seal the uneven edge with insulating tape. Grind the activated carbon to get powder. Cut out circles from cotton pads. With the help of the piston, push them deep into the cylinder. Pour the activated carbon powder. Cover with cotton pads on top. Close the cap. Having collected enough pure water, give the bottle to the wounded friend. Maybe fresh cold water will refresh her a little and give at least a little energy to move on. She looks really bad. Get up, baby. You have to cope. The girls struggle to get to an abandoned beach. There it is, straight ahead of them, and that's their escape. They just need to make a breakthrough and try to swim across it. But their new acquaintance looks very bad. She even loses consciousness from everything she has experienced. Wake up! What's wrong with you? There is no time to delay, and the friends make an unexpected decision. To transport the wounded girl to that shore, they need to build a raft. And the beach littered with plastic is now just right for them. The girls collect plastic bottles. They attach six pieces together with a wide scotch tape. Then they gather the blocks together. They bind the bottles with a rope. That's when their friend wakes up. Just in time! We need to get going. But what is wrong with her? It seems that the bite was deadly and the new girl turned into a walking dead. Stop! Don't come any closer! It's us! Don't you remember? The decision is hard, but the girls have to get rid of the newly minted zombie friend. At the sound of a shot from a coastal forest belt, a whole crowd of zombies comes running. It becomes too dangerous here. They urgently need to run into the water and swim. Faster! They are already close. The girls grab the raft and rush to the strait. How nice it is that zombies are afraid to wet their dead legs. This time, the girls manage to escape. But what is waiting for them on the other side? Did you like our mini-series about zombies? Hurry to write in the comments if you are waiting for the sequel. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell so you don't miss a new video about The Walking Dead on Troom Troom Select.